Viacom is suing YouTube for one billion dollars, claiming that YouTube is designed for the purpose of ripping off copyright. What the fuck? Now, if you go, you, you can find a copy of the, uh, the court papers that uh, Viacom lawyers have done up. Uh, I, I've skimmed through them, people, and there's really nothing there. It's bullshit. All they're doing is forcing YouTube to give them a bigger chunk of YouTube's ad revenue from you watching clips on YouTube. What Viacom wants is not copyright protection. They don't give a shit about the people that produce, uh, write, uh, direct, whatever, star in, you know, the content like uh, The Daily Show or something. They, they don't care. What they care about is money, right? We all know that. Well, what they also care about is you. You, YouTube, the people who watch it, the people who contribute to the community, they want you, bleh, <laughs> you are worth one billion dollars to them. That's incredible. You, by putting up uh, copyrighted material, by watching copyrighted material, you are stealing one billion dollars worth of revenue from Viacom. Now clap, give yourself a clap. That's a pretty amazing accomplishment. Now I know a lot of you are saying, fuck Viacom, boycott Viacom. But you know what? We're people and we're not gonna stick to a boycott, are we? We love the content that Viacom produces. We love MTV. You know, we love Nickelodeon, you know? We love Comedy Central, we love this shit, right? But if you really are serious about boycotting, if you really want to hurt Viacom for being a conglomerate media asshole, then you got to stick to your guns. And if you're going to do a boycott, it means you can't purchase or watch or consume anything related to Viacom. Cross the board, nothing. You got to be like a vegetarian or a vegan, you know? You have to restrict your diet. You have to cut out the the red meat that is Viacom. You can't eat it. You know, you have to mentally uh, condition yourself to believe that every time you see something produced by Viacom, that it's poison for your body. That's the only way you're going to do it. But, you know, you love it. You know, it's good. It tastes so good. Viacom tastes so good. But you, your body has to reject You have to reject it. You, you have to be mentally prepared to go the big fight. Go all ten rounds. Because the idea is, is if you stop paying attention to Viacom, eventually it'll go away. It'll disappear. Because that's all it is. It's nothing. What is Viacom? Where do they make their money? They make their money off of advertising and commercials. So to them, they all the money they invest in their TV shows and their movies and all the other crap they produce, to them, that's debt. You, They've taken out a huge loan. Or actually, you have. Because you are the one who's supposed to pay it back. It's your money. You give them your money. And when you give them their money, they give it to the, the, the ad people. Well, well, actually, it's already spent, right? They've already spent the money. So you are in debt to Viacom, who took out a loan to produce content from, from advertisers, you know, like Johnson's and Johnson's or Eric's Body Spray or whatever the fuck you see on, like, Spike TV and all that other shit. You know, it's a advertising money. But you are the one who's supposed to pay it back. It's a tax. It's like a tax. To them, you're just a consumer. They don't give a shit about you, YouTube. The people who watch YouTube, they want your attention because your attention pays the debt. That's all it is. Debt is slavery. You're their slaves. They do stuff for you. We produce shows like Laguna Beach, The Hills. We produce it for you. You have to consume it. And if you are consuming YouTube, 
then they foreclose. They have to declare bankruptcy. They can't pay back the money that they borrowed to give you what they think you deserve. They tell you what you should wear. They tell you what music you should listen to, what shows you should love, you know, the, all the hot people in their bikinis at, at spring break dancing around, you know. They want you to watch that because, you know, that's what you want, right? That's what you want. That's why you come to YouTube. That's why you're here watching stuff on YouTube because you want to be the people in those Viacom shows, right? Well, I don't think so. I would like to believe you're here because you want to see what other people create and what other people love. You want to share in this community. But see, it's all free. The idea of YouTube, it, it, it's free, user-generated content. That's what I do. My shows and the things I produce are crap because I don't have any money. I spend my personal income to create crap for you to watch and hopefully you'll like it. You know, if it grabs your attention and you spend, you know, five, ten minutes watching something that I produce, that's great. I don't get make any money off of it. Therefore, you are wasting your time, according to Viacom. That's a waste of time. So, by suing YouTube, maybe bringing YouTube to its knees, you know, it'll force you, the consumer, you, the sheep, you, the one that needs to pay Viacom's bills to go out and search for Viacom produced material and Viacom sponsored sites like iFilm. Go there. Because all you want are hot guys and girls having romantic relations. Yay! Poop and like blowing up your genitals like jackass. Yay! That's fun. You want to do that. Because YouTube allows you to do that stuff and post videos and stuff like that because all they think is that you want to be like those people, right? That's all you want. It's all this free content. Free. User-generated media. That is what Viacom is worried about. Because they don't want you to make the choice between them, which is debt and money, and us, the YouTube community, which is totally free for passion of creation and just to, you know, create art, crap, <laughs> comedy, whatever, music, you know. It's a, a creative community and it's free. And Viacom can't compete with free. So they're suing YouTube for one billion dollars. Because that's how bad they want your eyes on them. So what do you do? You want to fight back against Viacom? You have to entertain yourself. You have to create your own entertainment and you have to simply accept the vegetarian blandness of stuff that I do as something that's important to you. Something that you want to aspire to or inspire you. That's the only way. You have to turn your back on it. You have to walk away. You have to burn that bridge. And you have to embrace free, independent, user-created material. And that's it. You know, that's your boycott. So, good luck. <laughs>